Today's teacher tip is all about changing your mind. If you had a bad first day of school or if you're a month in and something is just not working, change it. There's no reason to keep beating your head against a wall, expecting it to become a door or a window and open. Just change it. So here's an example of how I'm making a change. Yesterday was my first day of school and I have the students sitting in assigned seats pretty much right away. For me, I assign them unicorn teams and in those unicorn teams, they are able to receive um, points that eventually take us into kind of like a Harry Potter house championship type deal where they can um, see the points accumulating and then I'll put like a tally at the end of every school day how many points um, they've achieved or even maybe at this year because it does it's very time consuming um, potentially at the end of every cycle I will update those points but they get the chance to see in real time what good choices get them and I don't say what good choices get them in terms of rewards there is no reward there's just almost like bragging rights like wow you answered a lot of questions correctly today or you were a role model or you handled the equipment really really well here's what didn't work for me yesterday all of these seats were actually more in the center of the classroom which was really difficult because if I'm sitting in that seat then I don't have that much space on that side of the room or on this side of the room for the kids to make a circle and so when I was asking them to come into the room and make a circle they were kind of making a circle around this and then that prompted the asking of questions of well, what's in the work box and why do we have socks in there and then like taking the spots instead of sitting on them and like flapping them around which was like super distracting and not what I wanted to have happen and then I also felt with them over here that they were just so immovable like they were just such an immovable force yesterday that it was like how am I gonna get them up and transitioning to instruments when they're sitting like right next to them there's no there's no space for a transition and so that was my greatest transition I think is my greatest takeaway from the first day of school yesterday there was not great transitions um, so my goal for today is to be able to create more space and to encourage those transitions a little bit better so the seats are here up towards the smart board which I think is going to be even more convenient for me later on they will come in through the entrance they'll put their lunches over there if they have them if it's a class that goes directly to lunch and then what I'm gonna have them do to start out is I'm gonna have them make a circle here in this space because it's big enough now that they can sit there and then I'll give them their assigned seats and they can come over to this area and sit then I'll give the instructions and whatever information, whatever content needs to be given here in these places, um, discussing how we are in unicorn points, how the seat rotations are going to work, how all of that works. Then when that is done, I can transition them very easily over here to play instruments and there's space to take the instruments out. Everyone will have room to transition <clears throat> and it'll just make it a lot easier, I think. Um, so I'm really hoping that today just kind of goes, this is bugging me, that today just goes a lot smoother than yesterday in terms of transitions because that was the biggest, for me, that was the biggest hiccup of yesterday, that the transitions just were rough and I, I don't like when that happens because I have a type A personality and I like to plan. Teacher Tip Tuesday. It is okay to change your mind. Just make sure that you are changing it to something that works and then be consistent after.